EA3 Japan Echo from Kilo 8 Queen Sugar, Roger Roger from Barcelona. I have been to Barcelona, wonderful city. Wonderful city, thanks so much, Lou. Uh, may I test a different antenna? I'm on a dipole antenna. I'm on a dipole antenna and I would like to switch to a vertical. I'm gonna switch to a vertical right now, Lou, stand by. Hi, I'm Quinn, K8QS, and uh, I wanna run a couple of tests with you on two different antennas. Uh, one is an antenna that I bought because I wanted an antenna that would be portable that I could take along when my wife and I are doing a lot of travel with our car. Wanted a small antenna to put in the car that I could then pull out and set up that would be decent to run. Uh, and I didn't wanna do an antenna on the car itself. So I was looking for a portable, and I got the Radiotity HF009, uh, which I'll show you in operation in just a minute. And But what I wanted to do, because it's often not done, you know, people will do these antenna tests on videos, but they won't do any comparison. So what I'm gonna do is to compare that Radiotity, which is an HF vertical, multi-band vertical, portable, uh, comes in a very small case. I'm gonna put that up right here where I am in the backyard, set it up. And then I'm also going to set it up on that deck that you see behind me, which is our deck. So I'm going to have two different uh, locations. One's on the ground, one's up in the air. Uh, it, has three, it has three radials that go with it. Uh, when it's on the ground here, I'll just, of course, put the radials on the ground. And then when it's up on the deck, uh, you can see where the deck uh, makes a turn. Let me see if I can get this uh, on here well. You can just see it in the background there. It makes a turn. And what I'm going to do there is put one of the radials on the decking in one direction and another in approximately the opposite direction. And then I'm going to put one, hang one down by where you see the pole right there. That's when it's uh, up above. And then I'll have it down here on the ground with the three radials on the ground. And then I'm going to run a test on 20 meters because 17 and 10, the bands I often operate, are dead. And I'll do the A-B test thing. Uh, the A will typically be the uh, uh, the antenna I'll tell you about in just a minute, which is above me, and then B will be the Radiotity HF vertical. Uh, and then also what I'll do is go to the digital end of the band where the digital signals are bebopping and just do some receive tests on 20. So that's testing my antenna up above with the Radiotity on 20 meters. And then I will also do a test with that Radiotity up on the deck uh, and compare that to the radiotity down below here. And with that one, I will uh, talk to uh, some DX and, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so that's the idea. Now, what am I gonna be uh, testing against? Okay, I know this is gonna be tough to see, but we've got this tree here in my backyard and I've pulled up as an inverted V an off-center fed dipole, about 125 feet long and it's pulled up there about 60 feet in the center. You can kind of see coming down a little bit the coax, and then up above me right here, you can barely see is the long end, which comes into a tree behind me, and then the short end goes out to a tree out by the road there. So it's an off-center fed up about 60 feet, a little bit inverted, and it uh, operates extremely well. So this is a tough test against the vertical, which is gonna be placed right down here. And then for one set of comparisons, and then up on my deck right over there for the other comparisons. Yes, this is Kilo 8 Queen Sugar in Michigan. I'm in Michigan on antenna number one. Antenna number one. Now I'm going to go to antenna two. Stand by. Okay, this is antenna number two, antenna number two, antenna number two. Go ahead. Okay, did you say I dropped from 5.7 to 5.5, five? is that right? 
Okay, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. You're in Utah, and please give me your call phonetically. Roger, Roger. Thank you so much for the uh, comparison. Kilo eight queen sugar. Bye bye. Seven three. Here we are on the vertical. Here we are on the dipole. Back to the vertical. Back to the dipole. Back to the vertical. There's a different signal now. And here we are on the vertical, on the dipole. So that signal is different. The other one is not so different at all. Okay, let's do this guy again. Here we are on the vertical, dipole, look at that. Two S units. Back to the vertical. No big difference there. Here we are on the vertical, dipole. So that particular signal makes a big difference. But some of these are almost exactly the same. Let's hold on a second. Okay, here we go. There's the dipole. There's the vertical. There's the dipole. There's the vertical. About one S unit on that signal. Okay, here we are on the dipole. There's the vertical. Back on the dipole. Virtually no difference on that one. Let's grab another signal. Okay, here's a weak signal on the dipole. Here we are on the vertical. He's up about two S units. Maybe three. Back on the dipole. Yeah, at least a solid two differences, two S unit difference. Back on the vertical, dipole, now the dipole is up. Back and forth, up and down it goes. Pretty wild. Okay, yesterday I tried the Radiotity 009 down uh, on the ground here, which is fairly low. Uh, there's a rain garden. We get so much water down there, we put in a rain garden. So I had the antenna right here on the ground and uh, did the test yesterday. Today I wanted to try something wildly different. Uh, come over here, we'll go past the bird feeder. And here you see the steps that I'm using to get up to the antenna. So I'm up on the deck, which is about, uh, this deck is about 15 feet up off the ground. And uh, what I did here, was to take a pole that I normally use to grab wires uh, up in the air and then at the top of that pole right there if you can kind of see it let me zoom in a little bit right there I just taped the bottom of the radiotity which would normally be pushed into the ground I just taped it there and then had the entire antenna going up from there as you can see going up here and there's the coil and then the telescoping part there. So I'll give you a better view of this in just a second, but I wanted to show this uh, connection here and the three uh, radials that they have. So one radial, I just uh, put along the deck railing over here. You can see it there on the top of the deck railing. And then uh, a third radial, you can see dropping off in the back, kind of behind the coax, just straight to the ground. And then the third radial, I put on the, uh, oh, that's uh, going over here on the deck, right there, past the bird feeder on the deck. So the three radials, two of them coming off on uh, a one angle, and then the other one dropping off right down to the uh, ground. You can see where those radials connect right there, and there's the one dropping straight down. 
So the radial that's dropping straight down really is just going down to the ground. Okay, so that's the installation. It's very temporary. You can see I'm using some tape there to uh, hold the, the pole, the antenna to the pole. Give you another look at that, come in a little bit uh, differently here and you can see it. So it's just sitting up there on my, on my deck. And I thought I would test this out with that minimal ground and see maybe how that compared to uh, what I was doing when I had the antenna down below yesterday. Okay, I've got the two antennas set up. We've got the radiotity vertical and my off-center fed dipole, which is actually kind of an inverted V up at 60 feet. They're both tuned for 20 meters. Okay, here we are on dipole. Here we are on the vertical. Vertical, vertical. Dipole. Dipole. Vertical. Back to the dipole. See if I can get this station. Here's the vertical again. Wow, that dropped all of a sudden. Here's the dipole. Kilo 8, Queen Sugar. Kilo 8, Queen Sugar. Kilo 8, Queen Sugar. Kilo 8, Queen Sugar. EA3 Japan Echo from Kilo 8 Queen Sugar. Roger, Roger from Barcelona. I have been to Barcelona. Wonderful city. Wonderful city. Thanks so much, Lou. Uh, may I test a different antenna? I'm on a dipole antenna. I'm on a dipole antenna, and I would like to switch to a vertical. I'm going to switch to a vertical right now, Lou. Stand by. Okay, Lou, I'm now on a vertical. Uh, I'm now on a vertical antenna. Is this better or worse? Go ahead. Okay, 5.9 on the dipole, 5.8 on the vertical. I'm back on the dipole now. Okay, your signal report is 5.9. So there you have it. Uh, I showed a few tests that I ran with the vertical, the Radiotity HF009 versus my off-center fed at 60 feet, homebrew off-center fed. And uh, I've got to say it's wild. So the about 80% uh, of the time, maybe 70% of the time, signals were a, str a little bit stronger to significantly stronger on my dipole up at 60 feet. But then there were these other times where the signals were considerably stronger on the vertical. And sometimes it would shift during the same QSO. So it was very unpredictable. But I think the bottom line here is that the Radiotity HF portable antenna performs amazingly well. Only three radials on that thing, and you can set it up in a few minutes. And that's what I'm gonna be taking on the road for about three months this winter setting it up in different locations and having some fun with it. So I'm pleased with it. Now, there's another whole set of tests that my colleague Tom, WA9TDD here of Ham Radio Perspectives, ran from his home in Indiana uh, against uh, another vertical, vertical to vertical. And then also we've got another video we're gonna do where we had a mobile installation up against the radiotity at a park in Indiana. And so we've got two more videos. Depending on the order that you're watching these videos, you may have to bounce around on our YouTube channel to find the other two, although I'll put links down below 
to all of them on each of the videos. So we're trying to test out this vertical quite well in comparison to a variety of other antennas. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to Ham Radio Perspectives. Watch Tom and I as we uh, go about testing different things and talking about ham radio technology, history, and culture. 7-3.